Protests have broken out in the Philippines as the country's Senate considers a controversial military pact with Australia. Greenleft TV spoke to Rehana Mahodin in Manila. The Philippines, of course, has had uh, several military agreements with the U.S. And one is the Visiting Forces Agreement that was signed, I think it was in the late 1990s, and uh, 1998. And um, under that agreement, the experience has been basically two major features of that of that uh, agreement that uh, you know we've experienced one is virtually a permanent military presence of us troops in the philippines um, so even though these are not permanent basing facilities like we had in uh, angeles and subic it nevertheless uh, enables a permanent literally a permanent us military presence in the in, in the Philippines, especially in Mindanao, especially in the South, in the guise of uh, military, uh, you know, joint military exercises and so on. So it's literally permanent. And um, and uh, we also know that they have um, uh, participated in uh, on the ground operations. Certainly, the intelligence personnel have participated in on the on the ground operations against the. Moro uh, liberation movement in the Philippines. And um, we've also uh, uh, got uh, information from uh, comrades and from our networks in Mindanao that they're also doing drone attacks now, very similar to the kind of drone attacks that we see in Pakistan. So this is, a, uh, this is the ex experience and also a stepping up of the kind of intervention, both covert and also overt. Um, now, the other aspect of it is the whole question of who has jurisdiction for criminal acts over, uh, over U.S. troops. And again, here, you know, the experience has been um, essentially the Philippines has no say. The Philippines has absolutely no jurisdiction over, uh, over detaining, over arresting, uh, troops that are involved, uh, I mean, there was the very uh, famous case of the rape of uh, a young woman um, um, uh, a few years ago, and the women's movement ran a very strong campaign, and right through the course of that, basically the U.S. asserted its authority over detention, keeping the soldier um, on U.S. premises, in the U.S. embassy, and the Philippines, uh, Philippine authorities had absolutely no say over this. Now, so in the, uh, in, the, uh, uh, you know, in the light of that experience, we now have uh, a similar agreement that has been signed with um, uh, the Australian government, a military agreement that has been signed with the Australian government. As far as we know, there has been no such publicly uh, acknowledged military agreement with Australia because this agreement was signed, was agreed to between Australia and the Philippine government very secretively in 2007, but it has to be ratified by the Senate. Um, and it's because of that ratification process that we, uh, you know, that the movement here is aware of the existence of this. And um, uh, so we, we see this as essentially as an extension of the uh, militarization by imperialist forces of the region, of course led by the U.S., backed up by one of its strongest allies, Australia. And the movement here sees Australia as the number one ally. I mean, it's described as the number one ally of the United States. Um, and um, even though the movement hasn't experienced a direct uh, military intervention by Australia, uh, such as in the case of the Marcos dictatorship and propping up the Marcos dictatorship, uh, no direct, uh, you know, experience of that. It is now understood that Australia is the main ally of the U.S. and that um, it's uh, it's on the back of that increasing militarization of the region that Australia is also now starting to intervene. Of course, we also understand Australia has its own national interests. It has its own economic interests in the region. For example, mining in the Philippines. Australian mining companies are basically ravaging indigenous populations and indigenous 
uh, in Mindanao and in uh, in central in the central Philippines. So we we uh, we realize that, uh, and uh, but this is you know this is a, a real concern. Um, the Senate is now deliberating the bill. Um, it was um, delayed yesterday. We were we thought this uh, agreement would be passed by the Senate, but it was delayed yesterday because six senators are opposed to it, and we basically need eight senators, and that would block the bill. Um, and so we are also calling on solidarity uh, with the movement here in the struggle to block this agreement, this military agreement with Australia, which is going to be detrimental to the Philippines. 